2000. Joining me today, Bill Russell, Bruce Jenner, Reggie Jackson. Ready now for the first heat of the swimming. It'll be two lengths of the pool, 50 yards, and you're looking at a very strong swimmer, Dave Casper. Bruce Jenner, we have watched Dave Casper. He does have a good stroke. He definitely does, but the thing is here, he's got an awful lot of competition. And perhaps the toughest of that competition is in lane number three, Dwight Stone. We watched him, and he looks to be the class of the field. And then out in lane number four, a man who just recently drove his car 203 miles per hour out in California, race driver Tom Sneva. And in the pits, the little Snevas, Amanda and Joy, cheering on Daddy. And we're just about ready. Dwight Stone's the favorite. Two lengths of the pool, 50 yards. The final will be 100 yards. And they're off. Sneva gets a good start. But it's Dwight Stones overtaking Sneva immediately. And top of your screen is Dave Casper. In the middle, leading right now is Dwight Stones and Sneva is trailing the field. Look at that stroke. It's beautiful. He's nice and fluid. Flip turns. It's perfect. Look at the picked up on Casper right there. Look at that stroke. He's tall and he's slender. He's just moving right through the water beautifully. Casper thrashing at the water, trying to overtake Dwight Stones. He will not. It'll be Dwight Stones in the first heat. Dave Casper and Tom Sneva will close. Tom Sneva still fighting because, remember, time is also important to get to the finals. Dwight, you looked effortlessly in that one. Oh, it felt good. Casper was right there, though. He was going good. But the hundred's a big difference. <laughs> it is, but you were so smooth. It looked like he was working awful hard, especially at the end. Well, I've got the good turn. I save a lot of energy on the turn, so the hundred's my race, like running the quarter. All uh, right. Well, good luck in the finals, then. Thanks, Bruce. So Dwight Stones is the winner of the first heat in the swimming competition. The question for Dave Casper, who finished second, will his time be good enough? Second heat of the swimming coming up after this. A beautiful blue sky is overhead and below the Princess Hotel pool awaits the second heat of the men's swimming competition. Bill Russell talked with one of the contenders, Deacon Jones, Bruce Jenner, with the favorite, Wayne Greenwich. Now, what is the strategy and Russ, what is the attack plan? Russ, I tell you, I, I just asked myself, what the heck am I doing here? Uh, these guys are great swimmers. My plan is to try to get into the finals, and then it'll be to try to finish. Oh, uh, uh, well, which first? Uh, get into the finals or finish? Which well, is most important? Well, uh, getting into the finals, because I think I can do the 50. But then uh, comes the 100, and uh, that's when I'm going to need some help. Uh, you a good swimmer? Oh, yeah, I can swim pretty good. Now, Wayne, here you've been around water your whole life. You're a water skier. You've lived in, lived in a boat life. just about. I, I've been around. I've known you since you were 11. Now, what are you doing in the pool and swimming? People are starting to complain about this. I'm just going to thrash about. And uh, no, uh, water skiers are in the water a lot. But uh, uh, the type of muscles used in water skiing are pulling muscles. And in swimming, it's just the opposite. And uh, we do a lot of treading water. So if we had a contest for treading water, I might place very well. But uh, swimming's a little bit different. There will be no water treading. Ready now for the second heat. And in lane number two, it'll be the Oakland Raiders' Mark Van Egan. Covered most of his ground this past season in four-yard pieces. Wayne Grimm, she has to be the favorite, no matter how he looks at it. He spent almost his entire life in the water. Big Ben Davidson. Ben Davidson, tough in the preliminary round, has a little drag there from his mustache. And Deacon Dave Jones, he has already told us he is quite a swimmer. Deacon swimming with goggles. Dwight Stones, winner of the first heat with Lynn Grimdich, sister of the favorite Wayne Grimdich. Good start. Three of them tightly bunched in the middle. Wayne Grimdich eases to the front. Furthest from you, Mark Van Egan, Ben Davidson is third, and Deacon Jones is having problems. Well, he said he could swim, but uh, the way we've had rope, you'd think he was in a tug of war. Either that or he'd think he's drowning. Got this mixed up with super teams, huh, Bill? Wayne Grimdich on top. He's in lane number three. Mark Van Egan is second. Then comes Ben Davis, and it'll be Wayne Grimdich here in the second heat of the swimming. Wayne Grimdich all the way, followed by Mark Van Egan and Ben Davidson, and Deacon Jones is still troubled. And he told me he could swim. You know, you can't trust those defensive linemen. They'll tell you anything. You know, the way he swims, he'd get a one on the gong show. Way to go, Wayne. It looked like you were practicing this a little. <laughs> Been trying to get some endurance on it. 50 yards is a lot different than 100, though, you know. So it's pretty difficult to, to tell. Water's a little cold today, too. So Wayne Grimdich, the winner of the second heat, will join Dwight Stones in the finals, the winner of the first heat, and we'll be checking the times to determine the other finalists. But let's take a look at the finish. Easy for Wayne Grimdich, but it was quite a battle for second place. Mark Van Egan in lane number two, top of your screen, battling Ben Davidson in lane number four, and this is how it went as Deacon Jones was wandering around at the other end of the pool. It was this close, about half a length. Jones finished, Reggie's with him. 
<laughs> now, how can you be mad? Uh, the glasses came down over my nose when I dived at the pool. <laughs> and I almost drowned. <laughs> All right. are, you, are you making excuses, or is that what really happened? No, I just, I'm glad to be alive. Uh, yeah, yeah, I almost drowned, and I, and I panicked. <laughs> I panicked, and, and listen, when I looked up, I saw the rope, and I grabbed on. <laughs> what am I doing here anyway, Rich? <laughs> Throw your glasses behind you. See them? I don't want them anymore. <laughs> David Jones, one of the great all-pros of all time. He won't mind us taking another look at his stroke, Bill. Yeah, uh, he said he could swim, and you know, uh, if he lost a little weight, I might get him mixed up with a good friend of mine, Ray Charles. <laughs> there he gets third round. He can swim all right, Bill. He just can't wear goggles. David Jones will not be in the finals with Dwight Stones, Dave Casper, Wayne Grimditch, Mark Van Egan, and Ben Davidson. <laughs>